Hey everybody, RC here. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld. And we are in Hopeless Grove. And this is episode 14. And we are, uh, let's see, where are we? We are still trying to recruit men. Not the easiest, but not impossible. And if nothing else, it's good practice for our our warden which is Chris who has a warning skill of 11 now men has a skill of 16 and loves it Myro can I set you as oh that's Brian's oh we're putting new beds out here that's right all right, let's see. Architect, furniture, double bed, there, and a plant pot, 15. I have limestone. Let's go with that. All right. So they're almost, well, I need them to finish the walls before I open this door here. Min has gotten sick from eating raw buffalo meat. And great. Please refuel the stove. We need to be able to cook. Chris is researching. So close. I can almost feel the air conditioning. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we have used a lot of our blocks down in here. And eventually we'll want to replace all of this with blocks. Probably as this is broken, we will use more and more. All right, Brian has a major risk break. No joy. His, his ratings are actually pretty high. Let's see, observed a rotting corpse. Let's see, can I... Can I get you to bury that person? That would be great. So we don't have to look at it. Oh, Brian, you're repairing a wood wall. Can I get you to haul that? Murray, you're building a steel trap. Let's finish that. And if I could get you to haul those. That'll be good. All right, Brian, can you come out and haul those? Yep, go sow the area. Can you haul that? That would be great. Can you haul that? That would be great too. Haul that. Just trying to get all this crap out of here. Haul that. Murray. Can you haul that? And Brian, if you would haul that. All right, now I'm going to put, I'm going to put a stockpile right here just for the time being. And in here, I want steel. That'll be good. What is that? That's steel slag. Um, do I have that set to allow steel slag? No, I do not. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And then maybe they will... Myra, where are you going? Can you haul that? 
Murray, if you would haul that. Brian, you were not going to do that. All right, well. All right, well, that's fine. All right, where are we at here? We still have three walls to do. Let's see. All right, I am going to have to cancel that. And cancel that. And maybe cancel that. All right, Brian, can I get you to finish that? Let's see, Palm, you're building that wall. You're harvesting a tree. You're researching, you're making pemmican, you're consuming pemmican. All right. All right, what is the deal here? All right, we don't have enough. Uh, so let's cancel that. All right, now, what do I have a lot of? I have limestone. All right, zone. Nope. Structure, limestone. Two, three, and a wood door. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put a wood door right there. I think we're close enough. Let's see. We're doing all right on pemmican. All right, if I could get you to do that, if I could get you to do that, if I could get you to do that, and get you to do that. And that should finish off this area. And then that'll get us set up in here. Murray's at a major break risk. Let's see. Yeah, there's just not a lot to do for him. Not right now. Oh, you know what? Let's give him uh, Vivian. Where are you at? Murray. Nobody has a bond there. No. Nope. And nope. All right. So that may help Murray out a little bit. All right, so that took away that and raised it a little bit, but not an immense amount. All right, what's going on here? No, I really need this done. Can you finish that? Already constructing the wall, okay. Palmolive. Murray. All right, this will at least seal up our outer wall. Awesome. All right, let's see. Zones. Expand. All right, so that should all get roof at some point. We've got our perimeter secured. Is Murray sick? Oh, untreated asthma. Okay. And he still has that toxic buildup. Oh, all that muffalo meat rotted away. Uh, everybody is asleep. I don't think that asthma will turn into a sickness. Uh, let's see, Myrel, can I get you? No. 
All right, well, hopefully on the next day here we can get this roofed in, get the beds built, and that will be immensely helpful. Where are we at here? All right, Sean, what are you going to do? You're eating pemmican. Sean's going to go play a little bit of horseshoes. Yeah, I just don't have... I'm going to have to build another wall here. I'm going to do that. And then... How about we do that? That way this will be completely enclosed. I think that's a good thing to do. And that gets all this storage pile inside where that stuff quits rotting away, which is just a pain in the butt. All right, who is my other doctor? All right, Sean, can I get you to prioritize treating Murray? Get him up and about. And then that gets him back to cooking. And who did I say? Is it Chris that's my warden? Yes. All right. So that's good to have this ingress, egress from inside. All right, we have a raid. They want to tunnel around our defenses. And it looks like they're going to attack straight away. We have a knife, EMP grenades, a wooden club, Molotov cocktails that he's going to use on a wooden wall. So I'm guessing that'll be one of these walls here. Hopefully they can, they'll still go around. So let's see, we're going to restrict everybody to area one. All right, Chris, we're going to recruit and put you here. Murray, we're going to recruit and put you here. Paul Olive, Brian, we will recruit and put you here. And Myro, we will recruit you. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you right here for right now who's my best shot out of these guys let's see character an 11 a 9 yeah now let's go with Chris all right so Myro you're gonna come over here Chris you're gonna go right there all right so here comes the raid now I want Chris far enough away because we did learn that Oh, he is coming down. All right, let me check something here. Zones. And I do want that and that. I don't want them to have to finish quit farming, so I need to add the O. And crud. Hold on. Arc. Expand area one. I need to add the door here. And we'll go ahead and add all the interior walls here. How about like that? And then we will come up to there. That way they can get out there. We'll probably eventually close this in too. But I want them to be able to go fight that fire. Let's see. All right, so they're not going anywhere. All right, so let's take these guys, and I want to bring them out here.
let's see Murray and let's attack this guy first all right and let's attack this guy next all right you go ahead and melee attack Actually, you know what? Let's No, no, no. All right, take him out. Now let's unrestrict everybody. Unrestricted. Now they will only fight fire in the home area for whatever reason. So we will extend there and then we will undo everybody. All right, now let's see here. I'm going to have to set this to a prisoner bed. Problem is, I don't think any of these guys are going to be recruitable. All right, intellectual and artistic, but they can shoot, they can craft, they can haul. Very neurotic. That 14%, I don't like that. How's this guy? He's dead. This guy, no firefighting, no social, so he's worthless. Uh, yeah, well, all right, I'm just going to let them fight the fire primarily. I'm going to come through and unforbid these things. Yep, get over here. Wait a minute. Is that outside the home area now? Doggone it. Yes. Gee whiz. All right. So somebody will come get that. Uh, we're going to order those guys stripped. Those guys stripped. I don't know. Do I want to try to capture this guy? He can't do intellectual. Murray, go ahead and capture this guy. And you know what? Just for just for craps and giggles, we'll rescue him. All right. All right, Palmolive, can you strip that person? Can you strip that person? And can you bury that person? That would be great. All righty. They're coming down to capture. Let's see. Let me come out here. Man, there's just no trees left whatsoever. Those alpha beavers did a real... Well, we have some over here. Quarters, chop wood. And I'm going to go ahead and just... All right, 
that gets us a little bit more. All right, I do want to check this guy just to see what his recruitability is. All right, hold on. Prisoner, 99, just release, no medicine. So, Murray, we're going to recruit you, unrecruit you. Yeah, go take care of Brian out here at his bed. And I'm guessing Ben's going to be 99 as well. He's only 97. He is the one that cannot firefight. But he can do everything else. I don't like the neurotic, but it is only 8%. He is faster. He can shoot. He can cook. He can grow. I'm going to try... I'm going to try to chat and release him with our bare minimum medicine and see what happens there. If nothing else, it starts to add. All right, let's see. Who's not doing anything? Tending to Ben, repairing a wooden wall, playing horseshoes. Can you bury Clarissa? That would be great. All right, they're doing repairs to our wall here. How's Brian doing? Health? All right, he is bandaged up. Hopefully they got that up pretty quickly. Hopefully we can stave off infection. All right, Chris is in there feeding and tending. Brian Schwartz, acute pain, so that's really hurting him. I'm going to make that into a medical bed just for the time being. And looks like everybody else is asleep. Brian's in the hospital. We'd great. A mad animal, a tortoise. There it is. We're going to set that to hunt. Everybody's asleep right now, so that should be a non issue for the time being. How are we doing on time here? 23 minutes. I tell you what, let's go ahead and put a cut in right here. It'll be a little bit of a shorter episode to make up for the long ones that I do every once in a while. Uh, we need to get this research done. We need to get these beds made to get Myrel off the floor. And other than that, I think we're doing okay right now. Uh, you know, the food, food situation will become much, much better once we get electricity. And, you know, this is one reason a lot of people don't play tribes because it's just so hard to advance from a technology standpoint. Um... You know, I mean, you know, instead of 1,200, we're, we're 3,600, and it just takes so long because we're a tribe. Um, you know, stone cutting is typically 300, but it doubles. You know, so a lot of these things we will never really be able to do, or they will take forever. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching this episode. We will see you next time, and take care.